Okay, TikTok all player game. Here's my first 10 minute video on uh, your platform. Um, I will just note that I had to upload this uh, because I currently have a ability to uh, record at 15 seconds, 60 seconds, and three minute video intervals. But you are not allowing me to record in 10 minute intervals, which I don't like. Why, why can't I do it in your app? I, I would much rather prefer to um, be able to uh, use all of the great filters that you have come up with or people in your uh, thing have come up with. Uh, like I saw one with like a, just today where you hold a heart in your hand and you know, it's like Kingdom Hearts. I, I love Kingdom Hearts. So that's a good segue into, I typed into Google, can you upload Kingdom Hearts 3 footage to YouTube? And then I had a little thought in my head where I remembered, oh, yeah, like, this game was made in partnership with Square Enix, the ultimate YouTube trolls that abuse YouTube's copyright system. So, of course they don't. Of course you can't. So, um, sorry, there will be no Kingdom Hearts 3 footage. You'll just have to deal with my ugly mug in this video. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so when you first open up Kingdom Hearts 3, before you've even, like, played the damn game, they already start with, before you stream, this game is a copyrighted work. The copyright is held by the Walt Disney Company, an American company, and a collaboration of authors representing the Walt Disney Company. I think that means they're lawyers. I, I don't know. Additionally, the copyright of certain characters is held by Square Enix Co. LTD. That's, that's why you can't stream this game. Square Enix. You are free to stream this game in non-commercial context, which... Like, is that like streaming to your Facebook page? I mean, so we're we're going to take a look at who's issuing these streams because the first YouTube video I found, um, like, linked, you know, like, turns up and... Google search results is one of the first videos and like this guy like received at least one if not two copyright strikes from this um however using streams of the game to primarily provide or listen to the music is prohibited even in non-commercial contexts for information on the terms of use relating to streaming the game please see the official Kingdom Hearts site, kingdomhearts.com slash three slash. Okay, so may, maybe we'll take a look at that too. But I, <laughs> so, I mean, it's open to interpretation, right? So like, can you stream the game if you like mute the, if you mute the stream, right? And you're just like purely 100%, um, you know, high quality commentary, um, which eh, it sounds like you really can't. Um, I mean, this, this is like the whole, um, 
thing that, like, I try to follow on my own channel is, like, if the game's made in America, like, as far as I'm concerned, you do you, buddy. Go crazy. They, they actually understand this. And, like, they probably won't issue a copyright claim. I mean, I've only been doing this four years, so, hey, what do I know? Um, so, <laughs> um, okay, so the title of the video is, uh, don't stream slash upload Kingdom Hearts 3 space exclamation mark. Uh, it has 2,800 views from Jojo Wi-Fi. I guess go check out his channel. Um, thanks for, um, giving all these, uh, comments. I, I love how, uh, this is hilarious. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a dangerous game to live stream and upload due to an utterly stupid policy and blah, blah, blah. Please share this with other content creators so they don't get in trouble or waste any unnecessary time making content no one will see for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, so like, I'm, I'm reading some of these comments and it seems like even uh, Disney, an American company, support your local Starbucks, um, is claiming some of these videos, but it seems like it's mostly Squeenix. So like a little bit of a backstory, like I, I was really motivated to do a playthrough of Final Fantasy 13 2 uh, for like my YouTube channel because I love that game. And Square Enix um, claimed the soundtrack like, I, I, I uploaded five minutes of footage, like the starting screen, and I think it got hit with, like, three different claims. And, like, YouTube has this new feature where, like, on the back end, you could, like, just say, hey, trim out the parts of the video that are being claimed by the bots. So I did that. And by the way, it took like four days to process, which YouTube claims it takes like 48 hours or something. So they lied about that too. Um, I, I don't know. But, okay, so this is from three years ago, so it might have changed. But um, here's one. Here's the pinned comment. Thank you for the video. Uh, I'll add that not only is the music copyrighted, uh, they stream the game twice, once from beginning to end of Olympus and the other time the whole Rapunzel world. First time they were ex expecting a copyright on the intro, as it was saying by Utada, so they were using the music in it. Legit for me, if they do not want the song to be heard in Japan, it's often the case with JRPG opening, but for this intro, they received two copyright claims. First one for Utada, with playing of the video limited to some countries, but a second for the video. Disney claimed the entire intro is theirs and blocked it worldwide. Um, so they cut that out and re-uploaded it. But in the Rapunzel world, they were claimed for a two-minute video. Uh, they think Sony recreated so much of the Rapunzel movement V, which is a whole another rant, that the bot detected it as if they were streaming the Disney movie. So they got a claim by Disney on their three hour stream for two minutes of Rapunzel's cutscene, and then the video was blocked worldwide. Um, so, yes, you don't have to stand idle to be claimed or striked as long as you're in a, in a Disney world. You can be claimed by Disney not for the songs, but for the movies. Killed my hope for Kingdom Hearts 3, which, yeah. Don't stream games made by Squeenix. You're, yeah, you're crazy. Check out my podcast, Reptilian Insider News. Thanks for watching. Bye.